Hey what's up guys welcome back to another video this is Vasu and you are watching Technovas in this video i am going to show you how to create a wordpress website using bluehost i am going to show you how to set up a wordpress website and i am going to walk you through the entire process so that way you can set up your own website and not have any problems before we get started i am going to clarify what is hosting and domain Hosting is a place where all your information and data of the website is stored. And domain is the name of your website. For example, google.com, facebook.com, etc. Step 1. Go on to Bluehost. In the description of this video, there is a Bluehost affiliate link. Click on this link and that will take you to the Bluehost. Ok now, I will click on that link. This is the official page of the Bluehost website builder. You can see that the prices of the hosting has been reduced from $7.99 to $3.95 a month. The advantage of choosing Bluehost is that you get your free domain name and you don't have to pay anything to get your domain name. It's completely free. Step 2. Purchasing the hosting from Bluehost. To purchase, click on get started now. And now you will select your plan. Uh, if you select the basic plan, it's about $3.95 per month. The plus plan will cost about $5.95 per month and this plan is also $5.95 per month. On the basic plan you can create only one website. And all these features are limited if you are choosing the basic plan. But if you choose the plus plan you get unlimited websites. And you can also use the same hosting plan of the Bluehost to create multiple websites. You can also choose this plan if you got lot of ideas to build out websites or if you are building websites for other people. And you also get $200 of marketing offer if you select this plus plan. The third plan also has various offers which is similar to that of the second plan. I am gonna select the basic plan. Step 3. Get your free domain. If you select any of these plans, it will take you to this page. Ok, now you will choose your domain. As I already mentioned, the domain is provided for free by the Bluehost when you are signing up for hosting on Bluehost. Now pick your domain name, for example yourname.com And now fill up the domain name in this region and click on next. Now you will have to enter all your information and details. Your name, last name, Business is optional. Your country, your address, city, state, phone number and email address. And if you scroll down, your package information is present right here. This is the basic plan for 36 months. Total is about $142 for 36 months. I am going to select for 12 months so that it will cost me less money. Now the price has dropped from $142 to $71.4. The domain is free. In this region, you can select or unselect various additional features. If you really want to build a website and start earning, choosing all these features will help you. I am going to clarify one thing. There is no monthly payments. It's an annual package which starts from 12 months. So you will have to pay depending on how many months you select. I suggest you to go through all the details before you choose anything. This is where you make your payment. Enter your card details. And click on this. I have read the agreement. And now click on submit to make your payment. Now you are on your account. Now click on hosting. And make sure you are on the cPanel. Now to build your WordPress website, click on install WordPress. Now paste your domain in this box which you got initially when you created your account. One thing I want to tell you is that if you already purchase the domain from any other websites like GoDaddy, you can paste that domains here to install the WordPress. Now click on next. Here you will enter your name or the title of your website. This will be your website title. The email which you want to associate with this WordPress account add here. And these two boxes the username and password is where you create your login ID and password for your WordPress site. After adding the username and password, click on next. Now wait for your site to be created by WordPress. You can notice that the WordPress is installing. Now the installation has been completed. Now click here to view your 
login details. You can see my login details which I blurred out here. Now to log into your WordPress for the first time, just simply click on your domain name to login. Step 4. Log into WordPress. To log into WordPress, simply click on the domain name and it will take you to this page. Now this is your login page for your WordPress site. Ok now go ahead and log in by typing your ID and password. And I'll show you how to set up your WordPress website. Ok now we are inside our WordPress dashboard and this is where you actually build your website. This is the WordPress dashboard and you will find everything you need to know on the left side. The first thing I'll do is I'll disable some of the plugins that are automatically installed by Bluehost. By this way you can remove all the Bluehost banners and uh, other unnecessary things. To remove the plugins, click on the plugins. To remove the plugins, click on the plugins and uh, I'm going to remove everything I don't want. I'll deactivate the Bluehost uh, banner. This uh, allow dolly. I'll remove these pop-ups too. I'll go ahead and uh, deactivate pretty much everything on here. Ok, once you remove all the unnecessary plugins, go ahead and click on dashboard. Ok, now you are on your dashboard. If you want to view a website, click on this site title up here. Now if you look at your website, you can see that there's already something going on. And the theme which is currently installed looks like this. At the top, click on theme so that you can find the themes option on your dashboard. You can also go to appearance and themes. We can look at your themes. This theme is automatically installed by WordPress. You can also find tons of themes by clicking on this add new at the top. And uh, you can also search all the themes here. If you have any specific themes in mind and to search, click on this search themes option. These themes are built by the random developers out there. If you want to create a blog post or an article or anything like that, go to post right here. There's already a sample post created. If you want to create a new post, click on add new. Now I'm going to click on sample post. Now what you'll do is click on the visual to see what you're doing. You can also add pictures and you'll see them displayed here. You can also click on the text to see the HTML that your computer is using to display things such as images. After adding everything, click on publish or update to update the new blog post. And if you want to create pages for your website like uh, about page and stuff like that, click on pages. And pages are built exactly like posts. And uh, if you look at them, it's exactly the same setup. Here you can set the featured image, uh, use the HTML, you can also add images. And uh, it's exactly same as creating the blog posts. And also on your appearance section, you can use the menus to create new menus. Here you will need to create new pages first and then you will add those pages to the menus. You can also use the custom links and add the menu YouTube. And you can also have a YouTube channel link to your menu. And the customize option under the appearance or if you go on to your website, you can always find the customize. This will allow you to do lots of things as well. It's gonna allow you to change the site identity, uh, which uh, includes your site title, which is displayed here. And your tagline, which is displayed here. Click on publish to publish your changes. That is how you'll use the customs bar to customize your website. That is pretty much the basics in building your WordPress website. Now you're pretty much ready to get started to use your website. To get started, all you have to do is click on the Bluehost affiliate link in the description and it will take you to the Bluehost. And you can follow these steps you just saw in the video to get started. If you want to build websites for other people, then uh, you'll need to use a professional theme. I hope this video has explained pretty much everything about how to construct the website. If you have any questions or doubts regarding this video, feel free to comment on this video and I will clarify all your doubts. Don't wait, go ahead and uh, take action today. Start your own website and start earning. 
and guys i upload all online related videos which you need to know on this channel so go ahead and uh, click on the subscribe button if you need to learn more thank you guys so much for watching this video and i really hope i see you on the next one take care